next question is how do you filter rows and columns uh, this is also uh, most uh, you know widely used um, the D filter row uh, is basically used to uh, filter the records based on the condition uh, which you define in the filter uh, section filter column uh, this will actually filter the column altogether and uh, propagate the required columns to uh, your next uh, um, you know, flow in the job so what types of aggregate functions are available in uh, Talon? Um, so we have a T aggregate component uh, to perform all the aggregations such as sum, min, max, count, uh, there's a group by, you can uh, do a few other uh, functions as well. So uh, T aggregate is the answer for uh, this question. So how do you perform e ELT operations in talent? So between ETL and the ELT, uh, e in ELT, uh, what we do is uh, we extract, we load the data, and then you perform the transformation. Which means uh, you extract from your uh, source, you load it to the target, and then apply um, any joins or merges or any other uh, transformation logic. So there are several uh, components available in uh, Studio under Palette section. Uh, there's a section called uh, ELT altogether. Basically, uh, they are done using the SQL templates. And also there are several uh, DB row components for each and every uh, database technology. We have the DB row component uh, through which you can uh, execute any SQL queries or inserts, updates. You can even execute uh, stored procedures. Um, you can do a whole lot of uh, ELT operations uh, in talent. All right, moving on, uh, the question number 21, what are system routines in uh, talent? There are uh, several um, standard uh, system routines are available. For example, string handling, talent date, SQL-like or relational operators uh, such as ESML. Uh, so those are all uh, called system routines. Uh, and they are readily available with the talent uh, studio installation. The next question is what are the user routines and how are they called in the talent jobs so we just in the previous question we talked about uh, system routines uh, alongside you have uh, option to create user defined routines wherein you can uh, write your own uh, piece of java code uh, to perform any operations such as any um, you know date computation or date transformation or any finding differences between two dates so those those type of uh, java piece of code you can write it under uh, user routines and uh, you can uh, call those routines uh, from a ja uh, t java row or t java or t java flex components or even you can um, uh, call those you know, routines uh, directly from dmap so there are several ways you can um, invoke the routine uh, get the computation done uh, that will return the value and use that value throughout your uh, talent job. All right, the next question is, uh, what are the options available for performance tuning? Um, this is very important and uh, most interesting uh, topic as well. I have already created a detailed video on this. Uh, you can visit my channel uh, and search for um, the performance tuning with talent. Uh, this will give you a variety of uh, uh, techniques used for performance tuning uh, that that uh, is going to be really helpful for all your performance tuning aspects all right uh, I have uh, detailed videos on several topics such as XML processing JSON processing tmap txml map uh, there is a series of video on context variables dynamic uh, mapping database and file extracts and loads how do we call rest api how do we um, extract the response and many other topics are already covered in my uh, videos i have got several uh, in my playlist added uh, for you guys to uh, start watching uh, just go to my channel and then um, you know find those uh, for more information and also as I said I'll be uploading a lot of uh, um, you know, 
videos on uh, tuning and more and more interview question and answers coming up in my uh, upcoming videos so don't forget uh, to uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, keep in touch uh, hope you like it thank you